So this tape is some background material that I'm then going to go and plug into various items and make the sound go all strange. And also, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and fill up as much time as possible. Um, so the speech can be distorted um, in whatever way I'm going to see fit, but there is no way in hell I'm going to say I'm not going to get into this side, but I think this is my Sony TC uh, tape deck, which is just pretty very sweet. So ultimately, um, I really don't like the sound of my spoken voice. I like recording myself singing. I have come to come to reconciled to how I sing, but I would like to do poetry and spoken word poetry. But this is well, the sound of this coming out of my mouth is ultimately why um, I haven't actually got there yet. Um, but I'm going to read out a poem by Judy Graham, who's pretty cool. Um, and this is what I used to do, you see, on these other tapes. I used to ramble along and then I would play a couple of songs um, and then read some poetry out of the book. Um, because I think that's the thing. There's something about the sound of this um, and my brain which tells me that I can't actually be... Um, my vocabulary becomes very limited when I have to listen to this come back out to the speaker. Um, I get a bit worried. Um, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for this. So, this is um, Judy Graham and it's called Why Do Americans Hate to Sit Next to Each Other? I think. Why do Americans hate to sit next to each other? If you have eight park benches and 18 people, 10 will stand up. 10 will stand up and stare past the pigeons who never sit by themselves. One ant plus another ant make a community, but 200 million Americans make one large ant eater. Climb up to San Juan towns and find out our ancestors. How scruffy and strong their toes must have been to scrub their bones walks. I cannot do anything with my toes. And my fingers grow all my heart's corners. I have already forgotten what I had made them. The anthropologists who stood the claims of all my essentials. They were able to resurrect their simplicity and their joy. I'm busy doing my eyes and bones and broken dishes. Did they go back for the sun? Thank you. 